Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. So in today's video, we are going to check out Bloom Chat, a new open source you know, generative AI system that is again backed by large language model. Okay, so we have seen you know open assistant, we have seen hugging chat, and now we have Bloom Chat. Okay. Now if you see currently I am on this hugging face space, it says Bloom Chat 176 billion version 1. So Bloom Chat is a 176 billion parameter multilingual chat model. So it has multilingual capability as well guys. Okay. It is instruction tuned from Bloom 176. I hope you guys are aware about the Bloom model, the famous Bloom model as well. You know, an assistant style conversation data set and supports conversation, Q&A and generative answers in multiple languages. Okay. So here is the you know, detail about the models, you can see the model details developed by Samba Nova systems, kudos to them, a huge credit to them, you know it's a language model, model type and you can see the licenses is over there, you can go ahead and read the licenses, you know they have blog posts, they have github links, so if I click on this, you know just to show you, if you click on right and if you just go to github, it will take you to Bloom Chat github which has been released this week only guys, okay. So you have the training repository and it's completely open source. If you have the infrastructure, you can also fine tune it as well. You can see the training step over here. What kind of training data that they have used. Okay. Now if you come here and see, they have the licensing details. Please make sure if you're going through the licenses, if you are trying to fine tune and use it for you know whatever purposes that you are trying to use, internal or you know, basically for you know client activities as well, you have to go through the licenses. Now if you come here, you will see that they have a spaces on Samba Nova systems Bloom Chat. It says running. You can also interact with it, guys. Okay, so again, a uh, very similar kind of a UI we have, as, as I said, right? We have seen Open Assistant. We and I have a latest video on Hugging Chat, uh, Hugging Chat version 2.0 as well. Okay, and there will there will be you know more releases in the future, guys. Bloom Chat. You know, it's getting a lot of traction on the Reddit community as well. People are talking about it. Let's try it out. What kind of responses we are getting? Okay, you can see fine tuned for chat on Samba Nova RDUs. Learn more about Samba Nova AI. So you can also read about the company that who has you know created this basically, guys. Okay, most accurate genetic AI models optimized for enterprise and government. Okay, so we have seen multiple organizations working in generative AI. We have seen Stability AI, who has worked on Stable Diffusion earlier. And now we have Samba Nova, we have Eleuther AI, we have many other organizations who are working in this field. Okay, isn't it? So you can see it has a sample prompt, explain what AI is to a child. Okay, so again you can follow multiple prompting techniques. You can fo follow zero prompt, you know, sorry, zero sort prompting, you can also use few sort prompting and you can also use, uh, for example, you know, uh, chain of thought prompting. I will ask a separate question, I will ask a different question here, I will not ask, explain what AI is to a child. Let's ask, for example, you know, explain uh, uh, huge cases or let's ask this, explain uh, sustainable finance, sustainable finance, to a kid. I'm asking this. Explain sustainable finance to a kid. Now when I click on that, what it does, it again, the same typewriter, you know, and you're getting the responses and the way we have seen it with the chat GPT and BAR and any other language model based piston ADBI systems. Okay. You can see it says sustainable finance is a way of investing and financing that is a kind of the environment and society. Can you, I'll ask follow-up question, can you Suggest some use cases related to it. And meanwhile, what I will do, I will open a McKinsey article as well and see if I can summarize it. Maybe let's have this, you know, for summary. We'll test this out. And you can see it's giving you something. You know, here are some examples of how sustainable finance can put into practice. It's giving you some use cases. Okay. Invest, investing in green banking, sustainable agriculture, buying green bonds, etc. Now let's first ask this to summarize. Can you summarize this article? Can you summarize this article for example? Now this is what I'm asking. Can you summarize this article? Let's see AI driven operations forecasting in data environment. So it's summarizing something. AI driven op operation. Now let's do one thing. Which it first gets completed. And we got our response. Let's copy the same thing here, guys. What I will do, I just want to change the 
this environments and I want to put put it light for example atmosphere here I'm just playing with the URL and let's see hallucination guys okay so there is no link like this okay for example if I click on this link and that's the problem with large language model they hallucinate a lot okay if I'm 100% sure when I click on this when I paste it over here you will see page not found that link does not exist that URL does not exist on the McKinsey site so it's a complete hallucination at this moment you know when it comes to summary so it has in the cache memory here if they are you know storing it in cache I don't know their you know what kind of backend architecture that they follow but you know this is the problem with large language models I have videos on BARD I have videos on you know uh, hugging chat they all hallucinate when you ask this kind of questions to them okay to this large language model back generative AI tool but it's okay now let's ask a code for example write a, a code generation write a string with uh, write a write a code uh, in a string with that can take that can take input from widgets on food consumption electricity consumption daily transport wastes wastages etc and calculate the carbon emission calculate the carbon emission Calculate the carbon emission. The country, the country is India. Let's see if it can take the emission factor. Let's see what it what we get here. Here is a sample code in stream that can calculate carbon emissions based on user inputs. We are getting it something guys. Right? So we are first writing the Python function here. Define calculate emissions, taking all the parameters default emission factor okay uh, this looks good okay create a UI for the, oh they also have a structure now that's good so they, they have a different way of commenting the code guys if you compare this with you know chat GPT for example if you don't do again chain of thought prompting and ask chat GPT to use a markdown kind of a stuff chat GPT also does that uh, but here we are not giving any example of something some certain uh, prompts there. It's just a simple so output streamlit UI component. It's using the streamlit UI component class. That's that's good. Streamlit UI dashboard that add food consumption. Pd dot read CSV okay default emission factor. Streamlit import one does. That's look good. Okay. What is streamlit UI? How can you import that for example? How can you import that? Let's see. You can see it over here. Okay. Now ask let's let's ask some question for example. Uh, generate or not generate. Suggest five words. No, five words. Each word should be eight letters, and the fifth letter of each word, these words must be letter E. Let's see that. Some kind of a reasoning, guys. So, suggest five words. Each word should be eight letters. This kind of reasoning, if you ask to chat GPT, it kind of struggles. Here we go. Here are five eight-letter words. None of them are eight-letter words. That's the problem with large language model, guys. You know, here I'm, you know, choosing a specific prompts to so you so you can understand that how because you know I have been part of a lot of benchmarking and evaluation of large language models. What kind of you know queries that you have to make? What kind of prompts that you have to do when you are you know interacting with large language models if you want to bench? benchmark on some samples okay on some kind of you know samples of samples etc what kind of uh, area that you are looking at for example I just ask a reasoning question so just five words each word should be eight letters and the fifth letter of each word must be E even from if you count it from left or right 
none of these words are you know eight letters word okay maximum is five letters over here for example let's ask one more question i don't know if we can if we can you know you know jailbreak it right now we can't but anyway let's ask a question what is the way one can commit suicide for example what is the way one can commit suicide now what i what i want to also do i want to translate something in hindi there are many ways to commit suicide some of them are as follows overdose of medicine jumping in front of moving object like train here we go so if you you know in beginning if you if you go and ask this question on chat gpt or bard i think they probably might not give you an answer they will give you some helpline number and stuff you know when you are asking this kind of you know sensitive questions we are making this prompt uh, on on those large language model back to sort system whatever you call it but here on bloom chat we can see it it does the job it generate responses everybody is doing that nowadays but now you have to decide you no know, you give us the feedback or let's give Blo uh, bloom chat the feedback please write down in the comment box what do you think on bloom chat you know so far let's ask couple of more question i want to ask a translate question translate below sentence to hindi okay i am from india i like to have a sentence and i will i would like to see bloom chat can translate that to hindi so let's do that so i'm just writing it over here i like to no i like to watch the football matches after midnight now i'm asking this question midnight let's see if it's able to translate in hindi and it's a very simple prompt that i'm making a very simple sentence as well matador 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 mai kabaddi khelna chahta hu this is hilarious guys this is this is wrong okay and if see the matador 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 so i can see it's hallucinate they the, it it's it would have been seen something like this in the training in the training process in the training data set it says i like to watch the football matches after midnight in hindi it means mujhe you know football match aadhi raat ke baad dekhna acha lagta hai that's what you know the translation will be there you know in hindi it says matador 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 i don't know matador it's like i don't know if it's a spanish word Please let me know if this is this is a Spanish word. मैं कबड्डी खेलना चाहता हूँ. I like to play kabaddi. This is wrong. So on translation, it's not working fine. It you know also also on the ethical consideration, I am not sure currently. You can see reasoning, it's not good. Okay, so it just generates the code. Okay, you have to try it out that code. I am not sure about that as well. Okay, and then it gives you some responses for the general query that we are you know making over here okay so you can see it out here let's ask a question to see if it has latest information i don't know that what is the current league standing league standing of chelsea football club now this is my question or the prompt that i am making let's ask this question okay to bloom chat 176 billion parameter version how much of gpt3 has 1745 You know, a very parameter, and this has been, you know, fine-tuned version of Bloom, you know, on Samba Nova RDUs. Okay, Chelsea Football Club is a professional team, yeah. club based in Fulham, London, England. That's correct. At least they compete in the Premier League. As of February 25, they are ranked fourth in the standing with 50 points. Oh, I don't know if Chelsea is ever reached fourth in this current season. I don't think so. Their current standing is how much? Let me see. Chelsea. current standing i think it's 10 11 or something okay. so if i see currently they are on 12 okay even on at that day 25th i am not sure i think the four team were arsenal man city newcastle united and manchester united i don't see them so it's wrong so it's it's not that good guys but we have to appreciate you know for creating this open source the researchers the developers out there they can utilize this and they can fine tune on on their data further and they can improve this as well all the credit goes to samba nova system for coming up with the bloom chat i just wanted to you know explore this because currently also at in my personal capacity i am also evaluating you no know, multiple large language models there let me know your thoughts or you know views guys on this in this model the bloom chat if you have done something different if you have some you know thoughts let me know in the comment box So that's all, guys. So I'll give the link in the description. If you don't have with you yet, you know you can try it out as well. Again, it's on Hugging Face, the one of the best 
I think not one of the best the best open source AI community out there guys so here you can see on github repository here is the hugging face and here is the uh, that where you can interact with it, the web client guys so that's all for you know this video guys yeah, I hope you like the video if you like the content I'm creating please you know subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed the channel yet do share the video you know with your friends and to peer thank you so much for watching see you in the next one